on SA Live today. Well, it's always Ladies' Day. Well, that <laughs> Ladies' Rule. Because everybody likes to look at Mike, too. Yes, <laughs> no, it's true, though. They do. Yes, He's the they do. He lots of fans. All right? yes, lots yes. of fans for Mike. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, Mother's Day is, of course, coming up, so we are gearing you up for that. How about gifting mom a very sweet memento? Yes. Maybe a blanket made out of old kids' clothes or something else. And Jennifer Nicolella, of course, with Abby's Attic, is going to show us how to make something where you just came out of Earth Day, something a little sustainable, right? Yeah, so these are makeup uh, wipe removers, and you can make them out of old uh, terry cloth um, towels, some old pajama pants, and you could just cut these in circles and sew them together, but I found a better way to do it. I'm gonna just trace little circles on my project here, and then I'm going to maybe hit the gas. And in theory. There we go, there in we theory. Go. You would be able to finish one of those. Okay. Just go around in a circle. <laughs> All right, we'll show some of those finished products in just a minute. Yes, another way to impress mom, take a look at this grazing board. Grazing by Zoe is here, and doesn't that look like a piece of art? Uh, look, are those yeah. flowers? They are. No, 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 don't eat it. Oh, it's edible. It's are they edible? edible? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Zoe told me so. It tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we're important mm. helping you find more unique <laughs> Mother's Day gifts. We've got a uh, little, uh, excuse me, we've, we've got Little Wonder Studios selling handmade nostalgic and quirky earrings. All that and more when SA Live continues. A few more sprinkles this afternoon and a few peaks of sunshine. Otherwise, it's going to be near 70 degrees and tomorrow a couple of streamer showers possible, but significantly warmer, closer to 80. And then by Friday, we'll be near 90 degrees. We'll be watching for a chance for storms on Saturday. Otherwise, a spring-like pattern without the rain. So just humid and warm over the next few days. David Ursula. Thank you, Sarah. Did you see how, that, how big that plate of, what was it, fruit and veggies? And all kinds, that thing like was a, like huge. Like a charcuterie. They can't eat all that, can they? I don't know, but I could have fun trying. I think so. That's beautiful. We'll find out if a live starts right now. From flowers to conchas, this pop-up boutique is creating custom clay earrings, perfect gifts for Mother's Day. Plus, Jen takes us inside an organic coffee trailer and micro bakery for an all new Java Jen. And we put a little love in your heart and loaves in your belly. We make some sourdough bread with a local bakery. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from Historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, oh hello and happy Tuesday. <laughs> that is our grazing board and, you know, craft services for the day. Good <laughs> afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorsiza. I'm Jen Tavares. Trust me, filling in for Mike and David. To answer your question, yes, we can eat all of yeah, this, right? I yeah, just give us time. some time. We have we'll to start graze. stretching. I already started stretching 10 minutes ago. <laughs> not to eat it actually <laughs> all right well our first guest of course founded her business during covid with small boxes for personal celebrations to bring a little joy in mm. at that time definitely a joyful thing to look at this now zoe stanley's business grazing by zoe has grown immensely providing boards for large celebrations events just any occasion really right welcome yes. Yes. thank you for having me and yes um Grazing boards are perfect for any occasion, small or large, easy to share and easy to scale to any size group. So, you know, people know charcuterie boards. What's the difference between a grazing board and a charcuterie board? Yes, so by definition, charcuterie is just cured meats mm -hmm. and it's a little intimidating. Some people don't know how to pronounce the word. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> or it just comes off as something not attainable. So I think grazing is, um, more approachable and talks about just the gathering of people sharing and grazing over L a board. Like the more casual yes. charcuterie yeah. board, Absolutely. right? Or how does your little girl say it, Jen? Uh, Char charcuterie. Char 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 We're gonna make a charcuterie. Yes. Oh my yeah. gosh, I love it. Okay, so what are we going to put together? Um, so for spring, we're gonna bring in a little fresh edible flowers and mm -hmm. we are going to coat goat cheese in them and then drizzle a little honey so it's fresh and Makes a yes. perfect board for spring. All right, I see a pretty yes, one there. So kind of reference that. And then so you, you can use these whole flowers okay. and then pick off some of these individual petals um, for the smaller areas. Yeah, it's and so you just pretty. press them into the goat cheese and then we'll roll it a little in this plastic wrap. 
Cool. Now, how did you come up with the concept for uh, even the name right, grazing? But the concept, because you told me you've traveled to what tw over twenty yes. countries. I've been to around twenty-five countries, and so I've had my fair share of different kinds of food. And so I love incorporating um, different combinations of food from my travels into my grazing boards, and just always sparks new ideas and gives me um, so better. When you when you set up a board like this, so you come in and you will set it up personally, right? Yes, in a so I or... either do boards um, for pickup or delivery uh -huh. that can be anywhere um, from two people to 12 people is my biggest board in like a cake box. Um, or I can also do in-home setup. So I can do as large of an event as you have in your home or I've done a couple hotels, anything like that. Um, so it really just depends how yeah, large your event is. Okay. And when you set it up, you know, you just make sure you kind of have a little bit of everything so that, you know, whether it's sweet or whether it's, you know, maybe a... Yes. So I um, start with cheese always on my boards and I get a base from that. And then I usually go into um, my meats. And then from there, I build on salty, sweet, so dried fruit. Um, and then I always finish with fresh fruit. And you can also top with herbs. Mm -hmm. um, and then on this occasion, I topped with fresh florals. So Beautiful. we are going to add this to our board. And you, you, some of these you make homemade, like the mustard you mentioned, right? Some yes. of the jams. Um, I make oh, mustard, yes. candied jalapenos, mm. some jams. It just depends on the season. Obviously, spring and summer is easy for me um, to source ingredients. So I tried to make what I can, and I think it's fun getting to have um, homemade elements on my board. That's so oh, there's the finishing what touch the on the goat cheese yes. with the that. edible flowers is a little bit ah, of honey. Wow. Okay, so we know there are Lunchables for kids, right? Yes. Okay, now you have elevated the Lunchable for adults, right? Yes, so um, I deliver to a lot of office buildings mm -hmm. and I do a Lunchable, it comes, or adult lunch box. It comes with three meats, three cheeses, um, a trail mix that I make in-house, and mm. then crackers. So it's a perfect lunch for anyone. <laughs> and for Mother's Day coming up, how yes. can people put their, or you still have time, right? They can get yes, an order so with you? Yes, we still have time to place Mother's Day orders. Um, I take orders via Instagram DMs or email grazingbyzoe at yahoo.com, and you can message me, and I'll get you on the schedule. Perfect. Mm -hmm. What a great gift idea, yes. right? I'd be so happy to see that. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. Well, for more information on Grazing by Zoe, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code on your screen. Okay, so I saw something yesterday yes. that we brought up as a fun question to engage with our viewers. The things that most kids wouldn't understand today, one of them that stood out to me is, remember Movie Phone? Oh, yeah. Hello. Welcome to, and welcome yes. to Movie hey, Phone. Well, yes. Movie phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we want to know today, what is that thing that maybe kids today, phone books, right? Yes. Do you have one? Uh, well, phone books, <laughs> right? We and, and encyclopedias, yeah. oh, my remember, the before dictionary. the internet? <laughs> Yes. Yes. Okay. And um, I was my parents' uh, remote control. Yeah. Because oh, you yes. had to get up Gotta and actually change. get up, kiddos. Yeah. So I was the remote. Was it? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> they will never understand this, They're right? They'll never understand it. So let us know. What do you think is something that kids today would never understand? Let us know at SA Live, KSAT, and Twitter. And we may see those a little later on in the show. All right, well, this is the last week of Earth Month. A handful of local coffee shops are teaming up with the San Antonio River Authority and San Antonio River Foundation for Coffee for Conservation. And one of those is Rose Hip Coffee. Now I heard they had some lavender options. So naturally, that's all it took to get, <laughs> to get me there. Take a look. Rose Hip Coffee is one of the newest coffee trailers in town and they're all about the delicious coffee but also the made from scratch delicious desserts. We're going to meet the owner and sample the coffee. And I'm now joined by the owner Katie here at your awesome coffee trailer. This is a dream for you. Tell me all about it. Yes, so I've always known that I wanted to go into the food business. I grew up baking with my mom and that was always a passion of mine. And so mm. growing up, I knew I wanted to have a bakery. And as I got older and kind of figured out 
it's, you know, what are the costs involved of doing all of that? I figured that a great first start would be opening a coffee trailer where I get to do coffee and I also get to do baking as well. Rose Hip Coffee is located a few blocks north of the McNay Art Museum near Katie's old neighborhood. It turns out the church parking lot is in the process of making this area into a community park. So the logo is actually a picture of one of my grandmas from back in the 50s. And so her wow. name was Rosa. And so I knew I had to have something Rose inspired as the name. And there's a book, Esperanza Rising, and in it, the abuela, she always makes tea out of rose hips. Oh. And she said, when you drink that tea, you can see all of the beauty that the flower ever saw. And so oh. that's what I wanted through this. Yes. I wanted this to be a place the community could come together, they could share a cup of coffee, and they could just celebrate the beautiful parts of life together. Oh, I love the inspiration behind the coffee and the baked goods, which we are about to sample now. So you're going to make three drinks for us. Yes. And of course, we're going to have to try these pastries, the baked to. goods. <laughs> all right. First drink we're gonna make is the vanilla cinnamon latte. And so I make all of my own syrups, all made with different um, healing botanicals and also all organic. So the vanilla cinnamon is definitely one of the most popular. And as it gets hotter outside, it's wonderful to drink it iced. So I put in the espresso in and some of the syrup. We get some milk. And we top it off with ice. Put the top down, give it a little shake, and it's done. The next one we're gonna do is the honey saffron latte. And so this one I think is really special. It has definitely a unique flavor to it, and it's something that you're probably not gonna find at a lot of other places. And it, I like it hot better than cold, actually, because it just feels like a warm hug. For this one, since we're doing hot, we're gonna steam the milk. So the next drink that we're gonna make is a lavender sage. And so this is another one of our really popular drinks. And we're gonna do this one iced. And this one has a very big floral punch. So while you're drinking it, even when you kind of add the espresso, you start to smell the lavender. All right, we saw the coffee drinks, and now it's time to check out the desserts. Hello. Yes, hello. So I've heard you love lavender, so yes. we've got the lavender sage latte for you. Thank you. Of Yum. course. My favorite. And speaking of lavender, let's talk about these delicious desserts here, because I think this one yes. has some lavender in it. It does. So love biscuit. So this biscuit over here is a lavender lemon. Lavender lemon. And then we've got a cheddar black pepper biscuit and then a vanilla bean orange cardamom biscuit as well. Oh my well. goodness, oh my goodness. Yeah. And then, uh, well, I'm gonna try this, don't yes. mind me. Uh, let's talk about what we have over here. Of course, so over here, we have got a strawberry corn cookie, and it is filled with blackberry preserves and lime buttercream. Mm. And it then, sounds amazing. Yes, <laughs> and then over here, we've got a coconut guava bun. So it's kind of the same dough as a cinnamon roll, mm -hmm. but it's filled with cream cheese filling with guava and coconut. Are you gonna dig in with me now? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think we're gonna need some more help yeah, with that. Yeah, need some help. You know, yes. Lots of people here. All right, again, salive.com. For more information, just head over to click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or you can scan the QR code right there on your screen. I'm going in. I'm going in for the biscuit, because, you know, I love lavender. Oh, look at that. All right, here's a look at other <laughs> coffee shops that are offering 20% off a drink if you bring a reusable cup from now through the end of the month. San Antonio River Authority's current public awareness initiative is don't let litter trash your river. So they hope this partnership will help push that awareness. Be sure to go out and support local. All right, SA Live continues with Spread the Loaves. We make sourdough bread just ahead. Plus, we make Mother's Day gifts that mom will treasure for years to come. All right, well, the best Mother's Day gifts come from the heart. And what better way to tell mom you love her than by making her a special <laughs> yes, gift? Always. Those are the best guys. Jennifer Nicola, owner of Abby's Attic Sewing Studio, is here to show us 
how we can make some gifts, get your kiddos to make some gifts you yeah. know, with love, right? Plus, oh, absolutely with love. And then plus, since it's, you know, Earth Day, month, week, whatever, yes, yes. Um, we can reuse their t-shirts and make a beautiful quilt out of their t-shirts. So the idea. very first thing you need to do is just grab a pair of scissors and mm -hmm. cut them apart from, you know, front to back. Mm -hmm. Okay. No big deal. Everybody knows how to use scissors, mainly. <laughs> As I struggle. They're super sharp, so be, be real careful. Oh, yeah, they are really yeah. sharp. But the key is to cut the front, right? Well, whatever logo you want to preserve. Okay, so okay, if, got if it, got the got memory it. is on the front or the back, that's the one you want to keep. Okay. Um, the stack that you don't need, you can always use to wash cars or dust. Oh, yeah. um, so you can pretty much reuse anything. Yes. Okay. Nice little Earth Day thing. And now when you're working with you know, t-shirts like that, you can't just stitch for example, what she's cutting together, right? You've got to prep it a little bit. You have to prep it a little okay. bit, right. So we use something called fusible interfacing. Um, it is a material that you can actually iron to the back of your t-shirts. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. And it's pretty cool because it makes um, the t-shirts not so stretchy, which makes it much easier to sew. And you just iron it on. And then once you've got this prepped, you can use either a super expensive that fancy plastic template, or you can do it for free and make your own. Because <laughs> Earth Day. Yes, look you know at that. I mean? So, and then once you've got your template cut, it doesn't have to be 12 inches, it can be any size you want. Mm -hmm. um, but you use the template, and then you can uh, trace around that template because that's going to be the size of your t shirt that you're going to sew together. Okay. So, once you have your pile of t shirts mm -hmm. cut apart, interfaced, and then cut down, then you get to sew them. Oh, this is the nerve-wracking part. <laughs> yeah, you got this. Okay. Now you've set me up here. This is I like have. This is, this is, you are my you are my training wheels for real. Okay. <laughs> You're good. I say that I got every you. time. I got you back. Okay. All right. So you've drawn a line. I okay, have. And I'm going to try and make sure I don't go over. You're good. Um, don't laugh, Ted. I heard that. <laughs> Our okay. Turn it just a little bit. Turn it up. But Jen, this is this is something that you do, obviously, teaching classes. Would you say more younger people are getting into sewing? Because I've a noticed lot. that. Yeah, a lot of younger people are getting into sewing. Um, it surprises me because you don't really see it as part of, you know, mainstream stuff. Right, right. But they know about sewing. Oh, yeah. And they're really interested in fashion and, you know, making their own plushies and things yeah. like that. So oh, yeah, the plushies. if you know how to sew, this is something that you can make for pretty much anybody in your life. You did I good. Did <laughs> Almost in a straight line. Almost in a straight line. Good. This, she she helped me. This she one, did. Right here. Oh yes. She's yes. cheering me on. So right here. You can do it. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Don't shake. It's okay. <laughs> so okay. once you have the t-shirts assembled, then you can cut them out of your machine, and then you'll have a beautiful straight line there. And then what you'll do is just attach each one, each square and make mm -hmm. a row of those. And then once you have a stack of rows, you sew the rows together. And then eventually you get, you get. something amazing. Now this is a little different. This is um, like a mosaic layout. And we have kind of puzzle pieced all of these oh, memories wow. together wow. Um, to make this giant quilt. So this is actually for a customer whose son and my daughter went to preschool together. Now they're going Aww. to UT. Oh my gosh, I know, we're all gonna cry. <laughs> oh, I know, wow, colors so, already. Wow, I know. but what a great way to preserve absolutely. the memories. Absolutely, absolutely. that. And you have some mommy and me classes We too, do, right? yes. So we Where have, are those? This Friday we have an embroidery class, so it's hand embroidery. Mm -hmm. um, on May the 13th we have a class for making a reversible market tote, and that's no sewing experience needed. All beginners are welcome. We have everything for you. We teach you how to use the machines and you're off and running. And how young can they start learning? We actually started having classes for five years old. Wow. Five to eight. And they use the sewing machine on the first day. Oh, they love go. it. Well, what a great They're skill. setting the bar. Right. They're I know. The bar. And take that skill with you. Like Mike Oster H has. <laughs> right? Yes. Okay, and you have summer sewing camps? We do. That is our that is our busy time. Fun. So we have summer sewing camps for kids age five and up, and it's running all through the summer. Um, Every week is a different theme, and we have a lot of fun. And then we see the plushies there. Like, I did. She made it. It's she creepy. made it. We wanted to know. I love her. <laughs> yeah. Where she got this. She made it. OK. For more information on Abby's Attic Sewing Studio, just head to essaylive.com. Click on the Ask Seen on Essay Live tab or scan the QR code on your screen. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. <laughs> Thank you. All right, don't go anywhere. A little Wonder Studio is making one-of-a-kind earrings with us for Mother's Day. And get your swim gear ready. Morgan's Inspiration Island is opening soon and we get details on the Splash Park.
course, summer is heating up and starting May 7th, you get to splash around and have a cool, fun time here at Morgan's Inspiration Island. And here to tell us all about it is General Manager and CEO Jessica Lazardo. All right, first stop, it's all inclusive. First stop for a lot of folks, the wheelchair ballet. What's this all about? Yes, so as soon as you enter through the uh, main entrance here, this is the first thing you're going to see is our wheelchair ballet. We have three different types of chairs, so anyone and everyone is able to come and visit and enjoy and play and have fun with their family members, with their siblings out in the park, regardless of their ability um, or limitations. So we offer three different types of waterproof wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. This one is the one that's most talked about. <laughs> There's actually only 11 of the pneumatic chairs in the world, and we have 10 of them here. Wow. Um, so these are all powered by scuba tanks. Um, there's no electrical feature on it whatsoever. So if you currently use a power chair, you can transfer from your chair into one of these chairs and hop on in and splash around with everyone else. Um, other types of uh, limb abilities uh, that we have for other chairs are the um, rigid chair, the rigid frame. Those are for those individuals who have that um, independence, who can um, will, them will themselves. Mm -hmm. Or for those who might need a little bit more assistance, we got a stroller chair for you. So offers tons of different sizes, lots of different features on each one. Um, basically, we've made it to where someone can't tell us like, oh, I can't come because of, right? Yes, and we you said, can. We said we made it impossible for you to say that. So um, we're excited about opening this year and um, and getting these chairs out in, in, in the water and the people in them. So. All right, well, speaking of water, let's go see all the wet and wild Yeah, fun. let's go. Standing right here, I can just almost feel the spray of the water. This is one of the most popular spots, right? Oh, it's super popular, especially for our adults, more so than the kids. Absolutely. Because everybody has to have fun, no matter what your age, right? That's right. That's what we're here for, okay. regardless of your age. Some of the other amenities that you have as well. So when you get here, you can rent out a cabana. It comes with a wait side service. You can even have a birthday party here up in the Arlago Vista room, um, which has windows that displays all of Morgan's Orland, all of Inspiration Island, um, and also other features. I mean, if you're looking for a job, too, just coming out and being employed here is so much fun. Looking for summer employment, high school, college, retired, whoever, yeah. um, looking for employment to come out here and work these awesome amenities that we have. Some of our cabanas, some of our splash pads, um, even host some birthday parties out here. Wow. Great summer fun. That sounds like so much fun. So it yeah. opens up on May 7th, but then there's a big, big party in yes. June, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So May 7th, we're only open on Saturdays and Sundays. And then come June, beginning of June, we'll be open. Um, something we're doing a little differently this year is offering splash park only hours. So if you want to just visit the splash park, you don't have to purchase a dual admission ticket as you've done in your pa years past. So you can come to just the splash park and enjoy your time with your family rent a cabana have a birthday party out here whichever you please um, and just enjoy it perfect way to beat the summer heat around yes here. cool off oh. lots of different options to cool off here what's your favorite riding mm -hmm. oh and this so one good. oh man I'm, I'm gonna go with this it's 280 gallons of water that just dumps right on top of you you have to I mean you just soak it all in that's perfect all right Morgan's Inspiration Island opens to the public May 7th and for more information on tickets and everything here at the park call 2 210-495-5888 or visit the website morganswonderland.com. All right, we have a great baking segment on the rise. Jen and I learn how to make sourdough bread. And where to get your mom a pair of locally handmade earrings to show off her individual style. Welcome back to SA Live. It's a perfect gift for mom this Mother's Day and a fun way to show off her one of a kind personality. This local artisan is making art pieces that mom can wear. It is truly art, right? Yes! Wow. Oh, and so beautiful. You know, I mean, they are so beautiful, so intricate. Creator and owner of Little Wonder Studio, Madison Assant, is here to show us how much work goes into creating, as we've mentioned, these tiny pieces of art. What are we making today? Ooh, definitely. So, right here, we have it where we just have like the base of the earring mm -hmm. and we can glue the flowers on the stems and I also have some hardware on the side where we'll be able to put the earring together and on the second part we have the little paper bouquet to put the tulips in so and have cute. look yes. at oh. that look at this little bouquet so I don't even need any any glue right now I can just kind of put these in now what are these made of made this out is of? all gonna be hand sculpted out of polymer clay okay polymer clay okay and are they baked yes okay so all of these are already baked oven baked clay 
And this is something that I was, because I was talking to your boyfriend and he said you put so much love into this. He sees you with the, the little toothpicks and you're, so there's a lot of love that goes into this, right? Definitely. And a lot of different like household tools too that I can just use to make all the designs. Okay. And about how long does it take I mean, I know it depends on the particular earring or design, but about how long does it take you to Definitely. complete one? It honestly ranges anywhere from like 10 minutes up to like an hour. Depending. Do oh you have a favorite God. that you make? Because I know you really like these uh, flowers here. I really love doing the rainbows and the flowers. Probably yes. the best. Yes. Okay. And, the and not only are they really cool, really unique designs, but you do custom earrings as well. And you can turn people's like pets into earrings. Don't worry, no dogs are harmed. <laughs> okay, right though? Yes, definitely. Anywhere from pet customs, your favorite food, or like plants. I love that plants. idea of picturing Calvin, my schnauzer. Yes. Like right here, two little earrings. So, so they want to do that, they just send a picture of their, their, yeah, their pet. It, okay, their they horse, can. it doesn't matter, right? You'll do it. <laughs> I can make anything. So, oh, look. Oh, look at that. That is stuff. adorable. Okay. Oh. My goodness. Now, what? where did this come from? Where did this idea spark for you when you wanted to start this business? Honestly, um, way back we went to a farmer's market in Austin mm -hmm. and there were some other kids making them. By the time we got back home, my mom got me a pack and I just started from there. Wow. Okay. Oh, right. And, oh my gosh. So what is the craziest custom thing that you've um, had to make? Honestly, I made like a bowl of guac once. <laughs> for, they just loved it and it was like, yes. That just sounds so cute. Oh my goodness. Well, let's go down the line here and show what you have because I have to say my favorite is mm -hmm. the cake. <laughs> and then you also, so we'll go down the line here and then you can you have a reference of how small some of those earrings yeah, are. Yeah, definitely. Too. So I can sculpt anything from big to like super itty bitty, intricate, mm -hmm. the more tedious, I find it calming. Mm -hmm. Very calming. Therapeutic like even, meditative, right? meditative, right? <laughs> yes. Oh, look okay. at the bow tie pasta, the concha. Oh my goodness, so yes. cute. And here is where we can see the size yes. of the... Those are some of the smaller options that I uh, okay. offer. Anywhere from this, have the penny as a reference. Mm -hmm. look. look at, oh my gosh. And so you just kind of sit there with a toothpick, right? Yeah. And you'll just <laughs> really <laughs> get into the detail of, of each of the designs. Okay, what are you showing me your more, more popular ones? Um, honestly, probably the rainbows mm -hmm. and then the foods like conchas, people love those. Mm -hmm. uh, the avocados are really popular. Uh -huh. And, and if somebody has an idea for Mother's Day, let's say maybe their mom loves tacos, <laughs> just saying, <laughs> yeah. asking for a friend, but um, it, then you can, they can put a custom order. Do they have Definitely. time to do that for yes. Mother's Day? Okay, just contact you through your Instagram. Anywhere from my Instagram or my email. Okay. And, if, little one. and if folks yeah. want to order from you, they can go through Instagram or you're in a store here in town too, right? Yes, I'm at Hello Tallulah. Okay. Okay. And the goal for you, you, to you told us, eventually is hopefully to actually teach other people how to do this, right? With yes. classes. So that's something on your list to do in the future, right? Definitely. So yes, just coming up with the final details, but I hope to host classes soon. Mm -hmm. And okay. the best way to keep up with you then is? Instagram, definitely. Okay. Instagram. Look at all those cute yes. earrings. And is there a deal for SA Live viewers watching right now? Yes. So if you order right now and mention SA Live, you get 10% off. Okay. Off. Time to get those gift orders in now. Thank you so much. For more information on Little Wonder Studio, you can head over to salive.com. Again, 10% off. You got to mention SA Live, though. Uh, click the As Seen on SA Live tab, or you can scan that code right there on your screen. Oh my goodness, look at those. Look, like, I love the plants. Oh, I love the plants. Yes. Adorable. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, thank you for having me. All right, well get your orders in now because these Mother's Day goodies from Bakery Lorraine are going to sell quickly. Jen and I give them our review as the official SA Live taste testing moms. <laughs> and we have loaves of fun with a local bread baker that's showing us their craft and we'll be eating some of the bread too. Of course we will, you know, we don't go hungry here. name says it all. Spread the Loaves is here with an assortment mm. of breads. Yum, 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 Looks yum. So <laughs> delicious. Owner Sophie Jeffrey is here going to show us how to make the sourdough. Welcome. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. So we're going to start on the end there. Um, true sourdough is only three ingredients, flour, water, and salt. 
and then the sourdough starter. So we're gonna um, add the, actually we'll add the okay. starter first, which I fed about four All hours ago. Mm -hmm. I always feel so just throw it in. I mean, I got this plenty is what's back so at the cool kitchen. About the starter, <laughs> it's alive, right? Tell us about that. Yeah, so you on feed the, it. <laughs> on, yeah, exactly. On the container, there's a little black line, and so that's the level that it was at when I fed it about four hours ago. And then it doubled in Boom. size, um, waiting for us to shoot. So mm -hmm. it's Must perfect. Have been hungry, huh? And then we'll go ahead and add the flour. Um, you can just dump it all mm -hmm. in there. <laughs> there and then go. the salt. And then we're gonna reach in there and mix, mix it all up. up. Okay. Yep. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> and, and this is something that <sighs> you oddly started. relaxing, Jen. I'm just saying. During <laughs> <laughs> 2020, right? This yeah, 20, yeah, 2021. Mm -hmm. um, I started learning how to bake bread in 2020. Um, it was actually my New Year's resolution that year. Nice. And then COVID happened, so wow. I had tons of time to practice. <laughs> that worked out. That was a yeah. good resolution. And then about year. a year later, I started the business. Yeah. So um, after the dough is all mixed up, we're gonna let it sit for about 30 minutes okay. and then we'll do a set of stretch and folds and it's basically just scooping up dough and then folding it over itself. Like and then uh, four to five hours later, it'll be just like this and we'll flip it over so the side is down. Okay. So you've uh, already done that whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one <laughs> so is I'm ready to, up. no, okay. you're good. So we're gonna, we can go ahead oh. and put it down, put the side down on the table. And I'll show you how to shape the a loaf. Down? Yep. Okay. So you're gonna take the top part and fold it down about halfway. Yep, yep. And then you're gonna take one side and pull it out a little bit and then fold it over into itself. So we're gonna make a rectangular yeah. shape. Yep, and then the other side. And you're kind of lacing the two sides together. Yep, and then once more on this side. On this side? Yep. And then the right side again. Oh, there we go. And then starting from the top, you're just gonna roll it up like a burrito, basically. So like that? Yep. Perfect. And then and then you pull back on it a little bit to give it a little tension. Sorry, here I'll oh, no, you, <laughs> know, you are the expert. I don't know it's what like I'm hard. doing. Oh, I it's see. Painful. And there so we're go. just building up that surface tension. Oh. So you want to keep pulling it until it seems like it's going to break. And then we'll just roll in the sides a little bit. And then you just put this side into the bottom of the basket. This side in the bottom. No. Yep. Now okay. about how many of these do you do all, you know, so like in I, one go? So I mostly sell at farmer's markets and I usually bring about 35 to 40 loaves to each market. Wow. So That's yeah. A lot of so work. it's yeah. <laughs> Um, so that is going to sit in the um, refrigerator overnight mm -hmm. for like 12 to 18 hours. Then you'll have this loaf, which is a little puffy because it's been sitting room temp for a little bit. Um, just flip it over oh, wow. onto some parchment paper and then you take a long, a razor blade, and this is where you add in those designs. So the first cut is necessary um, this, because the loaf is going to expand when it bakes. So this cut right here, the real deep cut, tells it where you want the loaf to expand, oh, okay. if that makes sense. Okay. And then the other ones are just decorative. So for this design, um, I just did a bunch of zigzags along the loaf. Wow. Um, and then it just goes in the oven. And yeah. that's where you see that part right yeah. here that's kind of so lifted, as, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So as they bake, um, these individual little cuts expand oh. into like a teardrop. Yeah. So much that goes into yes. that. All right, walk us <laughs> yes, through. I'll start yes, with this yes. Guy here. awesome. And then, um, yes, yeah, so we have a seeded sourdough right here. Uh -huh. um, it's got pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and some flax seed in the dough. Okay. Um, that's a new loaf that's going to be a regular at my markets. Um, I've got some focaccia. Um, I like to play around with different flavor combinations. So this one is topped with strawberries, goat mm. cheese thyme and a little drizzle of honey. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, there's another focaccia that has jalapenos and cheddar cheese. Mm -hmm. In the middle this there one. is a sourdough challah loaf that makes excellent oh, French cheese oh. or French toast. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I could picture that. French toast right there, making my mouth water. And then on the end there is another one of my popular loaves. Um, it's got cubes of cheddar cheese, roasted garlic cloves and fresh dill. Amazing, and then you st you have the cookies and the yeah. So I also make a really delicious brioche dough. So I usually bring brioche cinnamon rolls mm -hmm. and then a fruity brioche roll. So this week it's going to be a oh. lemon blueberry roll, and then I have cookies too. Um, those are triple chocolate chip and then a fluffernutter cookie. So it's peanut what? butter cookie <laughs> with uh, marshmallows in it. Oh, oh my. Is, that, is that this one right here? Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. Let me see. Wait, wait, wait. Look at that. Oh yes. Ooh. Look at that. And I like, I like my cookies a little gooey, so oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. Okay. It's a gift right here. And, and how can people find you? Mm -hmm. and yeah, so I do, um, I have three regular markets right now. So I have a Wednesday market at the Woodlawn Lake area.
area. Um, that's Wednesdays from 1 to 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. um, Saturdays, I'm on the west side of the city um, at Bandera Point Shopping Center oh, yeah. mm -hmm. um, from 10 to 5 p.m. And then the first Fridays, um, so I actually bake at Los Patios, okay. um, which is off 410 near Nacogdoches. And so we're starting a new first Friday market. So I'll be there um, next Friday. So come on by and grab some Mother's Day gifts and stuff. But oh. um, all that info is on my website and too. A oh, you also have, have a, um, deal? a deal for our viewers and then you have the bread uh, yes. is it club that you have Exactly. Too? <laughs> so this week, um, if you come see me at my markets, I'll do 10% off my sourdough loaves. Um, and that just mentioned the show. And then, uh, yeah, monthly I do a sourdough bread club for the true sourdough fanatics in yeah. your life. Mm -hmm. um, you can pay once and then you'll get a loaf every Thursday. And there's a few different options, but all that info is on my website. So, yeah. All right. Well, thank, thank you, you so yeah. much, Sophie, you for guys. contributing to the best day <laughs> ever on the show. All right. For more information on Spread the Loaves, just head to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab or just snap that QR code on your screen. <laughs> All right, next, Jen and I, okay, become the official SA Live taste testing moms. Bakery Lorraine has <laughs> dropped off some Mother's Day goodies, and we give them a mother's perspective, because I mean, somebody's got to yeah, do it, right? Food. <laughs> This is your public service announcement. <laughs> Mother's Day is coming up. <laughs> yes. So, Bakery Lorraine decided to do a special Mother's Day gifts. And as the resident SA Live moms, you know, tough task here. We have decided to taste test some of the goodies that are available for oh, Mother's Day orders. Yes. Right. Yes. If your heart is pure and you believe good things can happen. All right. So, so what do we got? So we'll start with the large fruit tart, as you can see, covered in delicious fruit. I think that dragon fruit dragon has some fruit. gold and is on that it. A little bit of gold dust. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that looks down. amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, my entire fork is stuck oh, wow. to this slice, so I'm just gonna try and get the end of it here. Okay. Hey, eat it like a pizza, why not? Absolutely. But beautifully done. Oh, very light. It is pressure. very light. Mm. Love it. Delicious. It's so light, I can have some more. <laughs> Take another bite and we'll mm -hmm. talk about these Pop Tarts. Okay. Take a look. I love the little hearts. Have you had their Pop Tarts? Well, okay. Open, well, let, let me crack one open. Yeah, crack here. one open because that looked like it's just going to do that amazing crumble. Oh, yeah. Yes. There we go. That's the kind of Pop Tarts. Strawberry I want. inside. Yes. So okay. I guess we have to try this too, right? Of course. The mom okay. Taste and then here's mm -hmm. are the macarons. All right. Mm. Okay, hold on. I'm going to taste one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, my gosh. The <laughs> lavender on this one. Save Every one for time. me. Yes. So okay. Good. So please note that the flower mm -hmm. boxes and bouquet packages are limited and are available on a first come, first serve basis. So mm -hmm. you'll want to get those orders in. Pre orders mm -hmm. will start Wednesday, April 20th. Mm -hmm. And um, oh, they started, yes. And yeah. orders can be placed online or in person. The last day to place an order will be Wednesday, May mm -hmm. 4th by 12 p.m. Order pickups will be available Saturday, 5 7, mm -hmm. or Sunday. Mm -hmm. Between day. 9 to 5 mm -hmm. at all locations. All right, Mama, well, tomorrow, Mama Brew, right? yeah, Mama Brew <laughs> done. Tomorrow on SA Live, we're getting cheesy. Local restaurants are competing for the best mac and cheese in town. We're getting a taste of one of the recipes and how you can uh, taste all of them and cast your vote. Oh, that looks amazing. Plus, your favorite Disney characters are coming to town. We're getting a sneak peek at the magical show and how you can see it before it's gone. That's tomorrow, 1 o'clock, right here on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you, what's something you think kids today will never understand? VHS tapes <laughs> yes. and recording yes. songs from oh, the radio. Oh, I all the time, all the time. That was me, Lisa Ann, telephone booth. Yeah, they probably don't even know what that is, right? right. <laughs> Veronica says a rotary phone or phone book and explaining to them white versus yeah. yellow oh, pages. Yes. yes. All right, Linda, living without a cell phone or computer, they would be lost. You know what yeah, I said? Yeah, would. and yesterday I saw too being mm -hmm. on the phone while you're on the internet. Like they don't. Oh know, yeah, right. You couldn't do yeah, that right, before. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, here, here <laughs> comes. Oh, thank you, Ted. Oh, that's.